Okay, now we're looking at video 3.3, which shows us how to use ands and ors, which is adding a little more complexity and flexibility uh, into the where clause where we filter records. Notice that now uh, that we've gotten past the order by that uh, everything I'm doing here is going to be sorted. So back to the student table. We're selecting a handful of fields out of it. This time we want to see all men who have a scholarship equal to $3,000. In order to satisfy this clause, both sides of this have to be true. The person has to be a male and the scholarship has to be exactly $3,000. So let's run it and see what we get. Only one person meets that criteria. Out of the 100 or so students, there is just one male with $3,000. Let's see if, uh, what females there are. And let's try running this one. There's a couple here. So by adding uh, two clauses together with an AND keyword, we are saying that any record to be output has to satisfy both clauses. That's very restrictive uh, and why we wind up generally with very few fewer records here coming out. The alternative approach uh, is to use an OR. Now we want people who are uh, majoring in computer science or electrical engineering. Those are uh, ID 1 or ID 4 uh, for the major ID. So let's run this one and we get a number of rows on the output. Um, let's see what the output window said. We got 23 rows back um, from that query. When you add clauses on the OR, any, any one of these, if even one of these matches, then the person will be output. So let's just take this away for a minute and look at what happens when we pull something out of an OR. Now we're just looking for major one, and this time we only got 13 rows back. Um, because that's uh, 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 all, all the people that met just that criteria. When we have both clauses, we increase the, um, the number, we generally increase the number of records we get back. So AND and OR are the two big clauses that are a part of um, combining criteria. Uh, you can AND them together or you can OR them together. And of course, you can use them in combination. So what do we have here? See students who are women and have three or $4,000 scholarships. So first of all, you have to be a woman. Then uh, once we've established that you're a woman, then you have to be either $3,000 or $4,000. So here we are combining ands and ors into a single statement. Let's see what we get. So these are all females um, and their scholarship will either be $3,000 or $4,000. Now it's a good idea when you're writing these kinds of expressions to include parentheses to say that I'm going to do these first, then I will do that one. It just makes it much easier to understand and read your SQL. So that's it for combining ands and ors. They allow you to filter records in, in a more precise way than you can by specifying just one criteria like we've seen before.